Hey, what's going on guys? Mitch here, making a YouTube video for the first time in two months. It feels amazing to be back. Hope you enjoyed that intro. I worked on that intro for like three days, but I wanted to have a special video for my big return, and this is the big return, guys, okay? And by the way, I hope you enjoyed that five on headshot. That was, that's the first clip I've hit in a long time. I hopped on Call of 4 the other day. First game on, baby, all right? That's just how I roll. Five on headshot, easy. It wasn't my first game on, but it was a nice clip. But anyways, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. I didn't really know how to approach it, though. I don't want to stir up any drama. You guys know me, okay? I don't like controversy. I don't like drama. I hate all that sort of stuff, okay? But I feel like this needs to be addressed. This is the number one question I get asked on Twitter, comment section, all the time. Even the local news was interviewing me about it. And that question is, why were you kicked from Sore? And actually, if you go on YouTube and type in Sore Mitch, the autofill recommendation is like, Sore Mitch kicked on stream, or why was Sore Mitch kicked, all that stuff. So. Anyways, it was a few months ago now, but I just felt like I needed to address this on my channel, just put it behind me and continue to grind COD and make the videos you guys all enjoy. But anyways, I was live streaming on Halloween with my roommates actually for the first time, okay? That was actually probably the most fun I had had in so long. So on Halloween, my roommates and I decided to do a drunken live stream, okay? Probably never doing that again. I gotta stop live streaming when I'm drunk. Not a good idea, okay? But anyways, this was a bit special because you guys have never seen my roommates and we also had a new roommate who we were chilling with. So it was like a, it was just like a good bonding night for the roommates and it was a fun night honestly so I'm live streaming anyways one thing leads to another before I know it I'm doing some silly stuff on live stream Aunt Judy I know you're watching this I know you share my videos on Facebook I'm sorry okay I've got a lot of family members dude my last week my freaking grandma's messaging me on Facebook hey Mitchell what's your YouTube channel my neighbor's child wants to watch it I didn't even reply okay and my dad's always in the video so I don't want a bad reputation here okay but let's just say there was some st substances on on but let's just say there were some stuff but let's just say there were some substances consumed on stream, okay? And by the way, everything was legal. But anyways, the freaking sore leaders, they come to my live stream. I don't know why. They've never commented on my videos. They never supported any of my videos. But for some reason, they're watching my live stream at like 2 a.m. at night. Whatever. They didn't like me very much. We'll get into all that. But anyways, this drunken live stream was the perfect opportunity. So without further ado, we have got the reaction, okay? It's an awesome reaction. We'll let Resimplex, the YouTuber, uh, introduce the clips here, because he was actually recording his screen, luckily. I deleted the live stream like an idiot, so. Hey, what's up, guys? Resimplex over at Clutches here, and today I have probably the funniest shit I've watched all week. It's pretty great. Uh, Sore Mitch getting kicked live. I know it's pretty up, but it's, it's kind of funny like how you react to it and everything he handles it like a boss okay let's just put that out there he handles it like a man he took it so well i mean honestly i think that's complete bullshit how he got kicked nuda couldn't even give him the respect of privately dming him or anything but whatever man keep doing you mitch if you watch this all right all right guys thanks for watching how many viewers do we even have uh, fucking What the hell? <laughs> Nuda, what the hell, bro? Oh my gosh. What do you say? Relax, man. Getting all serious. What do you say? <laughs> I'm in Clayton's room and just watch. Come on, this was an entertaining stream. What the hell are you guys hey, talking about? Mac. You're out. Nuda. I already told you before Nuda. that you're a moron. You're done. What the hell? Nuda. Who's Nuda? Who is he? No, that's Mac talking. You Who's can Mac? tell when Mac talks. Who's Mac? Who's that. Nuda? Who's either one? Yo, at least you got 60 bucks out of the stream. We I, did. Or like 62. <laughs> I'm 62. trying to get a bueno but You ordering pizza tomorrow? Oh. Uh, yeah, I might have to order some pizza. Yo, tomorrow. how many of you are actually black and can use the N-word? I know you're typing it, but come on now. Okay, so as you could tell, very silly live stream. I was drunk. I apologize, family. But let's not kid ourselves. It was an entertaining live stream, okay? I got the most donations I've ever gotten in a live stream, including from other Sore members. The comment section was booming, okay? Sore Max, the leader, he wouldn't know a good live stream if it frickin'... He has very poor judgment, let's just say that, in my opinion. But anyways, whatever. Got kicked from Sore, as you can see by my reaction. Not the end of the world. Honestly, I was not having a good time in that team those le the leaders do not like replying to direct messages man oh my goodness but anyways that's all fine i go to bed i wake up the next morning or maybe it was two two days later i don't even remember but then i see their the leaders are trying to shut down my twitter account because instead of take out sore from my name i did the strike through text so it's sore crossed out as you can see by my youtube banner and my avi which is crossed out okay just making light of a bad situation okay that's just kind of funny anyways they try and shut down my twitter account because they say i'm claiming to be in the clan here's a screenshot of the email ridiculous just goes to show the kind of people we're dealing with here okay but anyways what can you do so now at this point i'm out of the team i message the leader shout out to crude he was a very good leader very very good leader sore crude best leader in the team. I like Nuda as well, by the way. And for the record, Sore Max kicked me from Nuda's account. Hello, who does that? 
I'll tell you who. Sore Max does that. So guys, please don't be talking smack about Nuda. I actually like that guy. Very funny. I think we'd get along very well in real life. Same with lots of the other sort. Dude, the sore roster is actually so good. One of the best rosters. Anyways, then I'm just relaxing, okay? I wasn't uploading for a bit. And then, a few days later, I go I go to my good friend Sore High. I go to his live stream. Not my good friend, but my buddy, my good old buddy Sore High. I go to check out his live stream. And what do I see? Okay, here we go. Raw Mitch. PC Resi, please never say that ever again. PC Resi, Mitch is literally like one of my least video, least favorite people on the internet. He literally got kicked because the leaders f***ing hated him. My ex f***ing hated him. He hated him horribly. Me, as a person, I don't care if anyone smokes weed. I honestly don't think anyone in store gives a shit if anyone smokes weed. But if you smoke weed on stream and you're in my team, you'd probably get kicked. Because that, that is, that ruins sponsorship stuff and a bunch of stuff, so... It's kind of like, it is kind of f***ed up. Any specific reason why he's hated? Have you ever seen one of his videos? Have you ever seen a Storm Raw Mitch video? If you haven't, then you don't know why he's hated. <laughs> Yo, guys. No, I'm not even going to do it. I'm not even going to get into it, bro. I f***ing hate the kid. One of my least video, least favorite people on the internet. One of my least video, least favorite people on the internet. One of my least video, least favorite people on the internet. One of my least video, least favorite people on the internet. I don't know what that guy's problem is. Very mean, very rude. I would never talk about someone else like that, to be honest. Uh, Soar High, I'll accept an apology from you. Okay, I'll forgive you. I'm a forgiving guy, so. Anyways, goes to show the culture of the team. Like, what are these guys saying? Literally the only times I've ever talked to that guy is like him asking me for help or asking me asking him for opinions on videos. And then he says that, what the heck? Anyways, some other fun facts about the whole incident is that I was waiting for a Gamma Lab sponsorship for eight months. Yes, I'll repeat that, eight months. They promised me on multiple occasions that they would hook me up, even saying that I deserve it, they'll have it by this date, they know them in real life, they'll get it for me. I talked to like three leaders about it, four or five leaders, I don't even know how many there are. And then, to no one's surprise, no Gamma Lab sponsorship for Mitch. That's a shame. Anyways, that's not really important, but Gamma Labs, if you're watching this video, anyways, then after they kick me, so many memes on Twitter, right, hundreds of retweets I'm talking about. Uh, what else? Yeah, but people were not pleased, man, because I have a pretty good- thanks to the fans, alright? I love you guys, honestly. Eh. Eh. The public response to that was hilarious. They freaking blocked me on Twitter. Every time the sore Twitter asks like who they should recruit, they're all, people are always tagging me, so they freaking blocked me. Typical. So after all that, they decided to publicly say that one of the reasons I was kicked is because I was mean to other members. Uh, hello, I don't even talk to anyone in the team ever. I would occasionally talk in the group chat, and when I did, it was always positive stuff or just retweeting other people's stuff or retweeting sponsored tweets, funny enough. So I would love for them to try and back up that claim because that is just complete nonsense. Maybe they're talking about the fact that I followed up multiple times because they would literally never reply to direct messages. I don't know about you, but if I was the leader of a big team and I had members messaging me, I'd probably reply in a timely manner. That's just me, though. But anyways, I'm sorry, guys. This has just been a ranting video, but I know you guys have wanted this information for so long. As I said at the beginning, I get so many questions about it, so it's amazing to finally have this off my chest. And now, we can get back to playing some Call of Duty. Uh, former Sora Raw Mitch 2018-2019 takeover. It's gonna happen. And again, I just want to reiterate, I am not making this video to stir up any drama. I've waited months. I was so close to not even uploading this or not making this video, but really, it needed to be said. I have plenty of screenshots, any claims in this video I can fully back up. I would love to see any of the Sora leaders try and dispute any of these claims or deconstruct anything. Good luck with that, you're gonna need it. Anyways, honestly, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment, and I will talk to you in the next video, which will truly be soon, now that I have all this stuff off my chest. Alright, peace. I'm a